Ever wondered how to make a traditional South Indian breakfast dish at home? Today, we're going to delve into the process of making puttu, a beloved breakfast option from South India, particularly cherished in Kerala cuisine. Puttu is a unique dish made from rice flour and grated coconut, steamed in a cylindrical vessel known as a puttu kuti. This creates cylindrical shaped cakes with layers of rice flour mixture and coconut, resulting in a soft, fluffy, and slightly crumbly texture. To make puttu, you'll need two cups of rice flour. Mm, coarse is ideal, but fine rice flour can also be used. You'll also need half a cup of grated coconut, water as needed, and half a teaspoon of salt, or to taste. First, we begin by preparing the rice flour mixture. Take the rice flour in a large mixing bowl, add the salt, and mix well. Gradually, add water, little by little, and mix the rice flour using your fingers. Keep adding water until the flour becomes damp and holds shape when squeezed in your palm. It's important to achieve a crumbly texture, not too wet or dry. Next, we move on to layering with coconut. This is done in the putu kuti. Start by adding a layer of grated coconut to the bottom of the cylindrical tube, followed by a layer of the prepared rice flour mixture. Continue this process, alternating between coconut and rice flour until the tube is filled. Always remember to end with a layer of coconut on top. Now it's time to steam the putu. Boil water in a steamer pot or idli steamer. Once the water comes to a rolling boil, place the filled putu kuti on top of the pot or steamer. Cover it with a lid and steam for about 10 to 15 minutes. When you see steam escaping from the top of the cylindrical tube, it's a clear sign that the putu is cooked. After steaming, carefully remove the putu kuti from the steamer and let it cool for a couple of minutes. Gently push the cooked putu out of the cylindrical tube onto a plate using a wooden stick or the back of a spoon. Finally, serve the putu hot with your choice of accompaniments. Traditionally, it's served with kadala curry, ripe bananas, papadum or sugar. And there you have it, a delicious and traditional South Indian breakfast delicacy right from your kitchen. Remember, you can always adjust the consistency of the rice flour mixture by adding more or less water as needed to achieve the desired crumbly texture. For more detailed recipes and culinary inspiration, head over to www.indianrecipebook.com. If this video was helpful, show your support by liking, subscribing and sharing our videos. Thank you and happy cooking.